An annual teeth cleaning reveals three previous rows of undiscovered teeth. A neighborhood flocks to a coffee shop bulletin board to read about fun upcoming events. And a partially faded hand stamp is undermining everything a prosecuting attorney says. It's a brand new year, ripe with fresh opportunities to improve your life, and here you are watching this web video. This is The Onion Week in Review. In Chicago, Dr. Richard Kimball, a once eminent vascular surgeon and wanted fugitive for the murder of his wife Helen Kimball, was apprehended this week after disrupting a downtown gala and accusing his colleague, Dr. Charles Nichols, and pharmaceutical giant Devlin McGregor of fraud. The incident, which is the culmination of a sensational manhunt that has included Kimball escaping a prison bus, saving a boy's life in a hospital, and barely evading U.S. Marshals at a nearby jail, reportedly occurred only hours after Kimball subdued a one-armed man who he claims murdered his wife. Authorities credit their success in capturing Kimball to their array of highly advanced technology, including fax machines and phone taps. This week in Washington, D.C., four copy editors were killed in separate incidents amid the ongoing violence between the AP Style and Chicago Manual gangs. Police say the string of murders matches similar crimes all across the nation committed by the rival gangs of copy editors, both attempting to establish control over grammar and formatting rules. At this time, we believe that AP, Chicago Style, and possibly MLA gang members were involved in the violence this week, and we ask residents in major cities and publishing districts to avoid dangerous areas such as alleyways behind major publications, uh, journalism schools, and newspaper factories. Police say their lead suspect is this former New York Times editor. Marketing assistant Drew Winberg told reporters this week that he is the only person in his group of friends who has not been both married and divorced. Saying he is the only person he knows who hasn't found his true love and then grown apart from her and broken up, Winberg lamented his role as the token single guy celebrating his friends' weddings and supporting them through their divorces. You know, it just seems like everyone I know is just getting back into the dating scene after uh, picking up the shambles of their lives, and I'm always the odd man out. Well, it at least if I fall in love with someone now, I guess I can get uh, divorced in time for my friend's second marriages. And in local news, everyone at an office is planning a shooting spree for the same day. In other news, an army commander is disappointed after reading the Facebook comments on his latest raid. An ornithologist is forced to participate in the History Channel's program, What If Humans Suddenly Became Birds? And a Walgreens manager is certain his dead father would have been proud of his Crest toothpaste display. I promised myself I would make it through one full video this year before brazenly insulting viewers. Unfortunately, some promises were meant to be broken, you uncomprehending halfwits. For more, visit theonion.com.